Why don't we go ahead and disassemble this shotgun? So the first thing we're going to do is, before you disassemble any firearm, make sure it's empty so I can see that the tube's empty, chamber's empty, we're good to go. Uh, next, I'm going to remove my tube off the front here. Now, I've got an extended tube on here, but this is the same thing you'd be doing if you didn't have an extended tube on there. Out comes the tube and spring. And the forend and barrel are going to want to come off all in one unit. And that's really how I would recommend taking them off. And then you can separate these two from each other uh, just like that. So this doesn't need any cleaning on it. Uh, but this is very nice for getting into the lugs and the recesses in there and just giving that a nice clean to make sure it's good to go. Uh, there's no gas system on this, so you don't need to clean any gas or anything like that. It's uh, it's a fairly clean shotgun to uh, to clean. Moving up front, now if you have a factory one, this is where you'll need to press that in to, uh, to get that plastic keeper out. Uh, I don't have to do that because mine's aftermarket. I'm going to tip it forward. That's an aftermarket uh, shell follower. There we go. Uh, and next we're ready to take this bolt out. So all we need to do is grab that bolt handle, pinch it, pull it out, and then pull our bolt and uh, bolt tail follower thing. This is what engages the recoil spring. The cool thing about these shotguns, the recoil spring is actually in the stock here. So it's, it's well back and it keeps a lot of the weight off the front. Next, let's take a look at this bolt. Now I've got quite a few thousands of uh, rounds through this. So you can see it's very well polished where it's uh, been riding on the hammer or anything like that. Um, but what we need to do is, uh, is pull that pin out right there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna push on it from underneath right here. I'm gonna push a little bit on the firing pin just to take the pressure off. And then I'm going to just stick something through there to get that pin out. Now the firing pin will let go. I can pull it out, put it off to the side. I can pull this pin off, put it over there. Now what's going to happen is that cam pin has nothing to hold it in because the firing pin was holding it in. So that bit will come right out. And then my bolt head will come out as will the inertial spring, this big beefy spring that was in there. Uh, this is actually what's, what's, acting to run the action believe it or not all the energy is stored inside this little spring as it uh, uh, recoils and then it pushes uh, back uh, after the recoil cycle to make the action move which is uh, which is really cool just that little spring is doing all that work now this is the time where you take out your rag you'd clean this thing off you use a, a pipe cleaner and get into where that spring was there clean it all up re-oil it and uh, reassemble next we're going to take the trigger group out there's two pins here that we're going to use to push out uh, and we're going to remove this trigger group right from the shotgun uh, it's a little bit hard for me to show this on camera, but I'm just going to push on there. That pin will come out the other side. There's one. And there's the other one. And now this trigger group will pop right out of there. So there's our trigger group. We can choose to clean this off. I wouldn't recommend oiling this a ton because oil uh, attracts dirt and carbon. So it'll kind of mess up the insides here. So uh, just a very light coating of oil uh, is all that you really need. A lot of this oil here was uh, spray off from the bolt from before. Now, if you need to pull this guy out right here, it's all running on that pin there. So you can choose to drive that pin up. There's actually a spot for it to come up the uh, top there. So you can pull it out and this, uh, this extractor will, uh, extractor, is that extractor? No, that's the shell catch, uh, will come out. Um, uh, but I'm not gonna do that for you guys right now. <clears throat> all right, let's take this buttstock off. Now to do this, we're gonna need a Phillips screwdriver and there's two holes down there. And that's where we're going to stick our screwdriver. So feel around in there once you get there you should feel the bit engage the, dr the screwdriver engage with the screw you can start loosening it if it's kind of hard to get in there maybe just oil it a little bit and it'll just help it squeeze in there maybe some uh personal lubricant would be a good idea something that's not going to hurt the rubber oh that one's a tough one and it comes right off and it's okay if those uh, bolts just stay in there we don't really need them to come out we are presented with this kind of look and carefully pull that plastic plate out. Then we are left with this look here. Now we can remove this guy right out of here if we want. All right, I just want to show you where that plate is on the back. That's where the plate is. I've got that nut right off of it. So this will just pop off because there's nothing really holding it. 
and there's the buttstock, and there's that little plate that was in there. And this is our recoil spring assembly right here. So if we want to pop that out, what we need to do is drive out this uh, roll pin, and that would let us uh, pull the recoil spring out. I'm not going to do that right now just because it's a roll pin, and I don't really want to like beat it up. But uh, one thing that I will let you know, uh, because I use this for three gun, I'm only really using uh, target loads with it. I did chop a... Uh, uh, two coils off of this thing just to uh, let it run a little bit lighter stuff because again this shotgun is made for three and a half inch uh, shells so it uh, it's it's a little bit it's made for a little bit beefier of a round than I'm really going to throw at it now incidentally if you want to adjust this thing for cast this is where you would do it uh, you would uh, adjust these little shims on this guy right here and I put it back together like that put my plate back in Grab my nut and, and follow it. And as I'm tightening it, I'm just looking to the front to make sure that it's absolutely equal and there's no like proud move, uh, spots on it or anything like that. And it's basically the same as I, I got it from before. So I don't need to, to tighten this down Hercules strong. Just snug up there is fine. Next, I'm going to take my uh, butt pad and put plate to put it back on. All right, it's back on. And then I'm going to take my butt pad, carefully put it on there, and carefully get it started, just going back and forth on these screws. All right, butt pad's back on. Now I need a trigger group in there. I'm going to grab my trigger group. By the way, one thing I didn't mention, uh, this has actually been welded, so I've welded that fork just to be a little bit smoother on the lifter. Uh, as I put it in, what I'm going to have to do is move this guy out of the way. So I'm just going to move it out of the way as I'm pressing that guy in, and sneaking it in to the back and i think boy i just nailed that didn't i whoop nope let's try that again hey there we go now i can grab my pins and i can feed them into the receiver now with that complete i can reassemble my bolt which needs that little recoil spring my bolt goes in with the extractor facing the ejection port. So I'm gonna have it on my right hand side. The cam pin, if you notice, there's a bit of a bevel there that needs to match up with the top of this guy here. And I need the firing pin hole going back and forth. So I'm gonna stick it in like so. I'm just kind of holding on to it. Next, I'm gonna get the firing pin, pop it in there, feel around for that hole. Am I aligned? I'm not aligned. They give you this handy like slice on the side there. So you need to make sure that that's straight and then your firing pin will go in. And then you grab your little firing pin retaining pin and it goes in through the top and uh, presto, that's done. So now I need to drop that bolt into the receiver. I need the tail end of there hitting the, the plunger that goes into the recoil spring here. So I'm just going to kind of put it back. This works best if you kind of keep the gun uh, vertically uh, because you'll need to kind of hit that spring. You know you're in there when you feel the spring action. Next, I take my charging handle, pop it in, and I just test to make sure I'm in the right, right spot. Now that I've got that in, I can take my forend and my barrel, and I just kind of pop them into like that. So they just feed in like that, push it a little bit tight so it snaps, and then feed it in through your shotgun. Pull the bolt back just a little bit, and it should just go right into place. Now I need to get that extension tube on. Take my follower, drop it in the tube, take my spring and extension tube, start feeding it in. and start to tighten it on. Now, if you have a long extension tube like I have, there's the spring wants to torque it the other way. So I'm just gonna keep going, almost there. And just look at the front, make sure that that's all nice and flush. You shouldn't be out as you're torquing this on. And then what I like to do, there's still like a little bit of twisting force on that spring. So I just like to press my uh, uh, follower in a little bit just to uh, even out the uh, any kind of torque on it. So I can feel that it feels fine now. I do a quick function test, so safety's on. I test it to lock back. I test the bolt uh, drop and test safety, safety off, 
fires, holding down the trigger, it locks back, and I can test the reset. Oh, fantastic reset on this thing. 